Picture this. Gary Coleman, the world's most fiendish abomination, possibly resurrected from death by none other than his high priestess, Oprah. A shocking revelation indeed. Born as the seventh son in a family of knob goblins, his life was anything but ordinary. His rise to fame was marked by an unthinkable act, consuming the original kid from good times. But here's the twist, the only words he could utter at the time were, what you talking about Willis? Or so we thought. In reality, he was speaking in a secret knob goblin dialect saying, watch it to us. This my friends was not just gibberish, it was a curse, a disguise to hide his true hideous form from the world. So the next time you hear what you talking about Willis, remember, it's more than just a catchphrase. It's a curse, a chilling reminder of the secret life of Gary Coleman, the fiendish knob goblin. As it turns out, what you talking about Willis, was not just a catchphrase, it was a curse. Bill Cosby, a fellow member of Oprah's cult and loyal servant of Coleman, has escaped his prison sentence. This could only mean one thing. The Coleman cult, a shadowy group with its roots in the darkest corners of the occult world, is on the rise. The whispers in hushed tones speak of one name, Gary Coleman, the seventh son in a family of knob goblins, whose resurrection they believe marks the end of existence. Cosby's escape from prison is the first sign of their impending move. His loyalty to Coleman is well documented, but his role in the cult's machinations is yet to be fully understood. Oprah, the high priestess of this cult, is said to be orchestrating the resurrection of Coleman. Yet, there are rumors of a third unknown leader, none other than Dracula himself, a figure deeply rooted in the lore of the supernatural. The Vatican's recent announcement, pledging its allegiance to Coleman's cult, has sent shockwaves around the globe. The Pope's declaration of Coleman as the second coming of Jesus is an unprecedented move, adding a new layer of complexity and danger to this unfolding saga. With the Pope declaring Coleman as the second coming of Jesus, the stakes have never been higher. As the world watches, the Coleman cult rises, casting a shadow of uncertainty and fear. What comes next, only time will tell. But fear not, for the anti-Coleman occultists have united to save the world with none other than Kiefer Sutherland, Beefcake the Mighty, and Miley Cyrus leading the charge. As the world teeters on the brink of oblivion, these brave souls stand tall. Their mission? to combat the resurrection of the fiendish Gary Coleman and his nefarious cult. Kiefer Sutherland, a man of unshakable resolve, has joined the fight, fueled by a secret family oath to extinguish all knob goblins. His commitment to this cause is not only personal but ancestral. Beefcake the mighty renowned bassist of the band Guar, is well versed in the twisted history of knob goblins. His knowledge could be the key to understanding and defeating this occult threat. And then there's Miley Cyrus, a force to be reckoned with. Her fiery spirit and unyielding determination make her a worthy adversary for any foe. Her hatred for knob goblins is legendary, and she stands ready to bring the fight to the Coleman cult. The unity of these unlikely heroes serves as a beacon, a light in the darkness. Their cause is just, their resolve unbreakable. They are the anti-Coleman movement, the world's last hope against the impending apocalypse. With such a formidable team, hope is not lost. Coleman's public death was but a cover-up. Oprah with her wicked sorcery opened a portal and Coleman was ripped apart by the forces within. The truth as it often does lurks in the shadows. Coleman, the infamous seventh son of a family of knob goblins, was not merely whisked away by the cruel hand of fate. No, he was torn asunder, victim to the very forces he sought to control. From the depths of oblivion his cries echoed. Bill Cosby, his loyal servant, and Oprah, his high priestess, heard his call. They've been in contact, devising a plan to release him from his infernal prison. The world as we know it teeters on the brink. The Pope, pledging his and the Vatican's allegiance to Coleman's cult, declared Coleman as the second coming of Jesus. But in the underground occult world, it's well known that Coleman's resurrection may mark the end of existence. Yet hope remains. The anti-Coleman occultists, an unlikely alliance of Kiefer Sutherland, Beefcake the Mighty, and Miley Cyrus, stand ready. They've united with a single purpose, to save the world from the impending doom. Each with their own reasons, their own vendettas, they prepare for the battle of a lifetime. And so, as the whispers of Coleman's resurrection grow louder, the stage is set. The pieces are moving, the players are ready. The battle for existence is about to begin. As Coleman's resurrection looms, the battle for existence begins.